Okay, let's go over the algorithms I used. Um, I tried to keep it simple. I think um, you will be impressed at how simple it is. I did nothing complicated. Um, some people are impressed with complexity. I'm impressed with simplicity. So at Ticketmaster, somebody handed me a magazine with the LZW algorithm in pseudocode, and I coded it. This is the LZW. At Ticketmaster, I made a full um, archive program. This is just for uh, one file at a time. I don't have a, um, an archive. I don't need it. I only compress individual files. <coughs> So there's that algorithm. That's the that's the that's the only algorithm. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, there's a couple others. Okay, so data types. Okay, I have a hash table, a linked list hash table. It's got some other links for traversing because it's sparse. It's a linked list hash table. The CIA has told everybody that hashing is for security. So nobody knows about hash tables anymore. That's dangerous. I guess we want to fool the Chinese. Okay, so what else we got? Uh, uh, what else we got? I got a random number from numeric recipes in C. I used uh, Denny Dinker's Malik. Basically, you have an array, and uh, when you free a memory chunk, if it's you have an array, let's say 512, then uh, you stick it in the size, you stick it in the slot for that size, a linked, and you make a linked list. <clears throat> so imagine you have pigeonholes. 100 pigeonholes, somebody hands you a size 12, so you put it in pigeonhole 12, somebody hands you a size 20, you put it in pigeonhole 20, somebody hand, I should have said size 16 and 24, let's say 16 and 24, somebody hands you another size 16, so now you have a linked list, 2 and 16, somebody requests size 16 so you go to the linked list at 16 okay then when you get bigger you do pages of 512 and then when you get bigger you do powers of 2 so that's all it is multiprocessor p6 q sort <clears throat> i made a couple specialized uh um, it's. I made a couple optimizations for size, eight bytes. Anyway, my scheduler is round round robin. Nothing intelligent there. String pointer. I had to convert ASCII to decimal des decimal to. Uh, I guess a lot of people are impressed with assembly language. It's rare these days. My generation, everybody did it. I'm not kidding. I, uh, I get people that want to show off assembly and they say, you don't know assembly. Yes, I fucking know assembly. <laughs> I know assembly so much I should be embarrassed. You don't understand. 
okay so my compiler so there's the lexical analyzer uh, nothing fancy there the concept of a lexical analyzer stage I learned in a compiler course breaking it into stages divide and conquer the expression parser I made a I didn't use there's left recursive whatever LR parsing and stuff those all suck I used just a uh, I made a state machine and uh, there's two choices when you get an operator either it's higher precedence and you do it right away or it's lower precedence and you save it for later it's not hard you have just two choices you use a stack and you save it for later on the stack um, so statement parser um, actually my unassembler is the most interesting thing my assembler is cool um, oh by the way I had a bloom filter on the archive that I used at Ticketmaster um, in, a, in a encryption and uh, um, and uh, Danny had me just make up some encryption and uh, I had a uh, Fletcher checksum I got rid of some of the checksums I had it's kind of uh, niggerlicious to <laughs> put checksums on everything I'm, I'm not impressed I don't have a bad block table oh I, I forgot my disk code it's easy to it's easy to make shit complicated and garbagey you can throw checksums on shit and that's stupid that's anyway so where was I uh, so I made an unassembler my unassembler has a uh, <coughs> um, binary search on uh, the opcodes I made an opcode file with all the variations so when you're unassembling you have to come up with a way to uh, order the, the opcodes once you have a way to order then you do a binary search that's how you get your unassembler um, my my kernel has disk okay I have a free list I don't have very fancy I think I <coughs> The FAT32 has an information sector which has an incrementing counter that you allocate from. Somebody gave me a secret, which is you, uh, when you allocate, try and find the same size. And then it's a lot better, it's stable. Um, with At Ticketmaster, I, I tried doing a garbage collect to return it to the system. It made it unstable. I played around with garbage collect it made it unstable if you don't know what I'm talking about um, basically uh, garbage collect makes it unstable uh, I, 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 I think I, I might have played with buddy system uh, allocator I, I don't think that's I think that was unstable and uh, a lot of overhead fuck that mine's better mine anyway I'm not worried about memory efficiency that's the least of my worries I want speed so what else we got uh, that's it I, don't, I didn't use any algorithms I used a sparse matrix with a um, Markov chain I guess that's not what I use for God um, I use a sparse matrix with uh, Markov chain probabilities for my word stat. Uh, I used a binary search for uh, looking up words. Uh, so I had a disk cache. There's no no, no algorithm there. Just uh, no, it has a hash table. Hash table based on uh, block number and uh, 
partition. Um, <coughs> so what else we got? We got the editor. You know what do you, if you know what these things are. There's lots and lots of mostly I use circular doubly linked lists like facts that I learned at Ticketmaster. That's my favorite. Circular doubly linked lists. Cues. Where were we? We were uh port. So we covered all the stuff in the kernel in the compiler. Uh, Adam, bootloader, no algorithms there. Controls, no. This is my editor. I have to search for bin numbers and renumber bins. Binary graphics. And it's nothing. There's no algorithm. I used a hash table, a couple spots. Disk, uh, file manager, check disk, used a bitmap, god, graphics, what did I use in my graphics, B spline, we learned that in my graphics class, to find a shading you take the dot product of the unit normal with the light source, big deal, I'm okay with dot and cross product, I've done it enough, it's easy, I, I know it, not difficult. So I uh, cl the clipping algorithm is the only thing I looked up online for line clipping. It's it's not very hard to understand. Um, my I did my triangle and my line and my circle and my ellipse. I did it all out of my head. It's I use non-standard as it turns out. All of mine are original. Um, I used a what you might call it? Uh, is it Euler identity? What's the one? Uh, the, there's the famous minus one equals e to the i pi, which is a special case of cosine x e to the cosine x plus i sine e to the cosine theta plus i sine theta. Anyway, I, I know complex numbers really, really well since I took a. I, I have had so much complex numbers. I have had shitload of courses on complex numbers and the basic axioms and axioms and theorems. Shitloads of complex numbers and matrices. I've had shitloads covering the same basic matrix. I should be an expert. Every class we start by covering matrix, matrix, vector spaces, inner product spaces, all that shit. Okay, uh, what else we got? My window manager wallpaper. Um, that's it. There's there's no algorithms in this operating system. Go fish. <laughs>